How many products come out of this place in a year? Over 200,000. How many wakeboards? 60 to 70,000. Say on an average, we're making anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 units a day. And that doesn't include bindings, that's just skis or wakeboards or snowboards. Wakeboards are made with a polyurethane foam. It comes in an A and a B component. It goes through an injection molded rim machine. It sprays the two components together at such a velocity that it mixes them. And it turns out to be like a pancake mixture. It is then poured into an open mold, which is placed in one of these hydraulic presses. The hydraulic presses just come down with 1,500 pounds of pressure and are heated up to a certain temperature so the polyurethane can cure. That's a Byerly core right there. Inserts, all located, ready to go through the sandblasting process. You can see the cores here. This is exactly just out of the core mold. Resin won't adhere to this, so we have to create a rougher surface so we can bond our resins and glasses to it. This way the resin and glass will be able to stick to it in the molding process. There's two types of tops and bottom sheets. There's a, uh, what they call a nexus, and it's kind of a, just a fabric. And then we also do a plastic top. It has a little more rigidity to it. Most of our high-end stuff ends up being the plastic, or what we call a PBT top. There's a new Belmont top for you. This is a, a die stamping press. You put a die down, and then you lay the, the rolled glass in sheets on top of here. Well, this is the heart here. In this room, we have nine presses. We pump the resin through in a resin dispenser over here. What they do is they grab the fiberglass that you saw Fred cut earlier. They kind of put it all together with a kind of a resin sandwich. Every board that comes out of the mold, we're going to hold the rocker in it. So it has the exact same amount of rocker. It'll hold it like that for 10 minutes. It's done 90% of its curing in the first 10 minutes. Oh, and, really? it'll, and it'll always be that same shape. Boards come out of the press room on racks and they get pulled into here. During this process, a guy will come by with a bandsaw and cut as close as he can to the actual edge of the wakeboard. This removes the larger amount of the flashing. This is the, how exact he can get. You can see that the edge of the board is, you know, just very close there. He trims it that close, and then the actual real tight, close to the pinch line flashing will be actually done with uh, files. We used to put our inserts in after the board was made. We come in and we drill the holes and then drive the inserts in. We came up with a way to mold the inserts into the core. Yeah. And then all you do is you come in with a countersink bit. <laughs> and you break it open. Here's like the new Byerly foam. This is going to be all the new Byerly bindings are going to be made out of the orange foam here. Here's like the toe. This is just the plastic so he can see the material. He's cutting through it. Oh, and, it's, and then there's a sharp blade here. Razor knife. After the pieces are cut, they go over to our screening area here. All the pieces get screened. And this is the first year now we've gone to two color. You can see this one has a white and a blue. Uh, they can do about four pairs an hour. As you get into higher end bindings, you want more high end ankle wrap. And so you can extend the overlays up, loosen the strings here, and you can still open your foot wider to get it in the string will allow the back of it to form more to the back of your foot, creating more of a pocket so you won't get any more lift. And then take that information and plot that data into the computer. This is the bottom surface of uh, uh, the Byerly. This one probably took close to maybe 120, 140 hours. Basically we have, what we have here is a solid model. And I can take this and I can rotate it to where this shows you the bottom configuration and it shows you the complexity of, of, of the different channels in here. So basically what we've done is we've made the core, we've cut the glass, we've got the top sheet, we added the resin, we put it all in the press. It went into that room, it got cut out. It came over here, it got filed, and it got inserted. Now it goes to QC. The board comes into this area and is all filed and pretty much ready to go. These guys will peel the tape off, make sure all the markings are figured out for all the processes and make sure everybody did their job. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. You're welcome.